Hi there, this is Splish and today I'm playing ProMod, a game that is currently in a playtest phase, not alpha, not beta, but playtest. Some of you guys that have been playing video games for quite some time might have been playing ProMod in COD 4 back in the days. If you did, then you know that the COD 4 ProMod tweaked the game so that you for example didn't have no perk 3, perk 2 was always stopping power and perk 1 was always bando. You could only have one sniper per team, there was no sway on the snipers and they zoomed in faster, but when you shot they zoomed back out for the bolt action. There was no automatic snipers, LMGs, P90 or Scorpion and some servers turned off nades and most of them didn't have stun, only smoke and flash. They also removed all mounted machine guns and took out some FPS lowering things like smoke from the tank on backlot and the smoke from a shotgun. A lot of people love this since it's by them made COD 4 more competitive according to the players and that's where this game comes into play. ProMod is being developed by Bulkhead Interactive, creators of Battalion 1944 and the Turing Test. I played quite some Battalion 1944 and I recently made a video about it as well. The devs describe ProMod as a fast-paced 5v5 tactical FPS game, an alternative to tactical FPS games such as Valorant and Counter-Strike. I guess you can say that ProMod are using the blueprints of old school shooters and I therefore think that you can say maybe that it's like if Call of Duty meets Counter-Strike in a way. When I hear the developers talking about their game, it seems as if they want to make it possible for different playstyles to have a place in ProMod. Both the more slow-paced tactical approach but also the more aggressive run and gun approach. I think my experience so far during the playtest has shown that or proven that since some of the matches have differed a lot to me uh, when it comes to the pacing of the game, depending who you're playing with. It of course makes it harder as well if you're playing with random teammates and are therefore not using voice communication. There's currently a basic setup of three classes in the playtest, assault rifle, SMG or sniper. So there's no buy menu if you're used to play CSGO, which also means that you don't lose your class or end gun if you die before the round is over. Each class has its own ability as well. I haven't played long enough to say whether these abilities are gonna be annoying after some time or even game breaking. I need more hours in the game to be able to say that. But my first impression is that the game could actually do well without them. What do you think? If you by the way are interested to try out ProMod and therefore also helping out the devs when it comes to the development of the game, you can go into ProMod's Steam page and request to join the playtest. I will put a link both in the description and the comment section of this video. I recognize the feel of the guns when using them since I did play Battalion 1944 as mentioned earlier, which was Bulkhead's former title. I hope this time around that the developers, whenever they choose to release ProMod, that they will continue to support their game, meaning having a roadmap that will encourage players to continue to play ProMod, which unfortunately wasn't really the case when it comes to Battalion 1944. But now is now, and hopefully the game will appeal to an audience that will stick with the game so that ProMod can grow over a long period of time. So who is the target audience here? I guess if you like me come from a background of both playing old school card games, but also competitive CSGO, ProMod might be a game that takes some middle ground there and can become a casual competitive game if that makes sense due to its style and art design. I have a feeling though this time around that they have pretty good funding or economy to make this game happen. Not sure either what it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be free to play or if it's gonna cost money, probably the later. And I hope they choose a price tag that is affordable for a lot of people. And I hope and do believe though that the game could find its niche. And if you feel like trying it out, please feel free to do so. And if you've already have been playing it for some time, let me know in the comment section what you think about ProMod, your experience so far with the game. Also maybe what you like and don't like uh, because there's always room for improvements and that's what the devs also wants to hear from us, meaning the people playing the game. 
So with that said, I want to say thank you for watching this video when it comes to Pro Mod. It's gonna be interesting as I said here, uh, what's gonna happen with the game from here on. And if you're new to my channel and if you like this kind of gameplay or an FPS gaming overall, make sure to check out the rest of my content and also consider to subscribe. It's free here on YouTube and it helps me out. That goes for a like on the video as well. And um, yeah, my friends, take care and hope you're gonna enjoy Pro Mod if you check it out and have a beautiful day. I'm gonna leave you here, so later.